Hello there, Alden Wachter here. And before we start, I should probably give some background context so the video won't be as confusing. So, I was talking to Viking the other day, and I asked him between the Isle and Path of Titans, which one do you prefer? And he answered, and I quote, I prefer the Isle, cause I can grow a creature within a day, 6 hours if I'm not killed. The growth on the official servers on Path of Titan is kinda too much, end quote. Oh my sweet summer child. You think you can grow a creature around the same amount of time? Allow me to prove yourself stupid. Lucky for me, there are two new creatures in game, so I have someone in mind to grow. Of course, being the carnival lover I that I am, I chose to pick Noto. I'm just gonna call it Pikno. And we start off there with a difficult task naming him. With the ridiculous size of the arms in mind, instead of Arm Strong, I decided to call him Arm Short. I finished the tutorial quickly, and I seem to have gotten a friend. You don't talk. Fine by me then. You and me against the world. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. We spawn at the right or oh, the same place, right? Well, only one way to find out. And we do. Nice. Pleasant Hill Haven. That's up north, right? Yes. After learning over our location, we decided to get the big quest out of the way right away. Unfortunately, we would find it more challenging than expected. Ah oh shit, that's a cliff. And this is a no-go either? Oh no, that's just a cliff. Yep, no. Come on buddy, this ain't the right way down. Are you kidding me? Ah well, guess I'm alone now. After losing my group member, I quickly made my way down to the Northway Waystone. Hopefully, with no creatures around. There were no creatures around. Unfortunately, I did not want to go towards home came at the size I was at, so I decided to do some quick quests first. As for now, I decided to stay at the top left of the map, as I felt like this was the most safest place for me. Unfortunately, there were bound to be competition. Oh hi. You're the same as me. I don't think I wanted to team up with you though. I mean, there's one over there by the corpse. We can't be cannibals, so I mean, um, I should keep my distance. My vigilant paid off, as I saw that a bigger Pycnoto Pycno came and uh, attacked one of the smaller ones. So, with them serving as a distraction, I made my way and quickly dipped. After being chased out by the area I previously thought would be safe, I decided to live even more secluded, or safely, only doing quests when I needed to. I initially thought of going towards home cave over Grassland Crater, however, after being chased out, I had no choice but to go towards Tyrant George's home cave. After arriving, I was greeted by the locals. Oh hi. You're small. Like me. And even if you were big, then I would be way too fast for you. Though I don't know about this smaller version of you. Lucky for me, it seems like we share the common goal of just wanting to fulfill quests. You know, you're kinda bigger up close, rather than from up there. Are you dipping? Oh, it's dipping. Pretty sure you could kill me easily in a fight though. Not wanting to forestall any more or attempt imminent doom, I decided to head towards home cave, but not before after messing up. Ow! Why did that hurt so much? Ow! Lucky for me, there were no campers at home cave. However, I still wanted to be done as quickly as possible. You never know, even though there are no campers directly outside the cave, there might be creatures around the area. So, I did not want to take any chances and quickly dipped out of there. Now I was faced with another dilemma. My next destination point, Talon's Point. To get there, I had to cross Little Brock Meadow, a hotspot on the map. I thought if I stick to the tree lines, I would be able to pass safely. Oh shit, those are Rexes. Two of them? 
definitely two of them. Don't know if there's anyone more, but uh, I think I'm too fast for them. Ah, there they are. Yeah, they're not even interested in me. I'm safe. Question is, are there more of uh, other creatures here? I should just run away from here. This is not a safe place for a juvenile like me. <laughs> Having evaded one of the most notorious areas on the map, I made my way down towards Talon Point, doing some quests along the way. After visiting Talon's Point, a whole lot of nothing happened, and I continued down the map uh, doing quests along the way. With time, I finally unlocked the next growth level. Yay, adolescent. After maybe an hour and a half. Ugh, now I gotta repeat this cycle. After reaching adolescent, my confidence rose. And then it got immediately shattered by after running into a group. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> he looks bigger than me. I don't think that's a friendly call. Is that a friendly call? I don't wanna check out. I don't wanna find out the odd way. Oh, is that a group here? Oh shit, are they on a group? Oh, this is not a good place. There was a raptor. There's a raptor and another Pikno. Oh, this is... I gotta get away from here. Is that raptor following me? That raptor is following me. Stop following me, you little-sized turkey. Unfortunately for me, he did not stop chasing me. But however, I was close to a home cave and even though I don't like using it to my own advantage, I had no choice but to go to our home cave for safety. He's still after me? I mean I could probably take him but then his pick no friends are probably gonna come and back him up. <laughs> Salvation! Come on, get in! Ah. <sighs> safe. As I was already there, I decided to unlock all the different abilities for the Pikno, because you never know when I get the chance to do it again. And you don't know if it might actually help you survive a difficult encounter. After waiting for a while, I decided that it was safe to leave the home cave and I continued my journey and questing just as before. However, after a while, I decided this was taking way too long. If I continued doing this method, I would take way more than 6 hours to grow my creature. This is where I decided to bust out my secret weapon. Before I reveal it, can you, my dear viewer, keep a secret? If you can, then by all means, I shall reveal it to you. As we know, group quests can give you a lot of XP depending on how much you contribute to the quest. However, it is still a race, a race against others to gain as much XP. Not wanting to share XP, I logged into an alt account and teamed up with myself. You might think of this as cheating, but you have to take into account. This is kind of pay to win, so... And it's nothing preventing me from uh, doing this, so... It's kind of a loophole in the system. With me receiving all of the XP from a group quest alone, my growth speed would increase drastically. Of course, this also means I need to spend more time at the same area over a longer period of time, increasing the chance of me running into someone else. However, I decided that the rewards outweigh the risks. With this method, I would be able to grow into uh, adult creatures in 6 or even less hours. That is, if I was not interrupted. Oh shit, hi. You're an Allosaurus. I'm friendly. Oh, there's two of you. Yeah, I don't trust that. I um, seem to be bigger, but I don't want to take any chance. You little... No, 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 let's not be... Let's just ignore it. Despite the provocation, I decided that I would be outmatched. 
I'm confident enough that I would be skillful enough to face a Rex or an Alo if it was a 1v1. However, with them being a team, the Rex could bone break me and then the Alo could chase me down. It was a risk I was not willing to take, so I left. While searching for a new questing area, it seems like I had company. Those stunts. Am I being followed? Oh yeah, though. <gasps> those are allos, right? Yeah, I, I think those are allos. Oh shit, oh shit. Um, um, yeah, they are definitely bigger than me. Does that mean they have more stamina than me? Oh, no, 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 of course they don't have more stamina, but they might be faster than me. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. Screw this. No way. Wait. Do they? Are there something? There's something up there. Do they? Are there more of them? <gasps> Don't make any noise! Shit, did they? Am I trapped? Oh no, okay. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's a Rex! Okay, it's just a Rex. They're probably not in the same group. Rex, please be a diversion for me. Thank you! If they were in the same group or not, I will never know. But I did manage to get away. However, I was faced with another dilemma. My next destination area was Plateau Hill Heaven, on the other side of the Great Lake. With the Aloe and Rex blocking my way to go down south, I had no choice but to go back to Little Brock Meadow. However, I had an idea. I would head further up north. So far north, so I didn't have to worry about other players. It was a good plan. A brilliant plan, actually. A perfect strategy could only be invented by a genius such as myself. A genius unappreciated for my time. A foolproof plan that could even... <sighs> Luckily I spawned up in north again so I could just continue with my initial plan. However this time a bit more careful. However, with the time I've lost, with the designation area already changed, I decided to just stay uh, top left of the map. With me at almost subadult, I started to become quite big. With the size, I became much bolder when doing quests. With me daring to go to order more risky areas, I finally gained enough XP to become subadult. Subadult. Now I just need to repeat the bar thing again and then I'll be adult. I finally became big enough that I would willingly and comfortably be able to do quests near the water's edge. I would never be able to do this as a juvenile due to fear of being taken by surprise by a Sarko, Spino, Suko, or even Megalania for that matter. Water is actually 100% so yeah I, I might be the only creature here. How funny would it be if a Dino's Dino Kyrus actually decided to act like a Sarko? While being subadult, I decided that this was the time to finally choose a skin. Oh, that looks cool. That doesn't look cool. I'll use this. Yes. Yeah, 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 sure. Ah, oh, this one looks cool. Man, I want to show this off. Man, I'm just halfway towards adulthood and then I'll might be one of the first players to reach adulthood as a Pycno player. Nothing can go wrong, right? If you're one of those players that thought that, then go to the corner and think of what you thought. When everything looks right, I was ambushed by two Pachycephalosauruses, and this is where my inexperience as a Pycno player really showed. With the trees covering my visibility, and also being in the way, preventing me to use my charge ability, I was nothing more than target practice for these Pachycephalosaurus players. Thanks to them being more agile, I was literally thrown off a cliff. What is the Path of Titan version of This is Sparta? Of course I was bitter about losing my growth XP, but with my method, I would be able to grow those back in no time. As a matter of fact, after just one or two quests, I was able to gain back what I've lost, 
and seeing how, much, how little I had left, I decided to go towards center to show off my new creature. At the time of this recording, I was bound to be one of the first players on the official servers to become an adult Pycno player. This was just something my ego had to show off. However, at the time of my adulthood, the creatures of uh, Spineless Lagoon were a bit too busy to uh, celebrate my adulthood. <gasps> I'm an adult now! Yay! Hey, you guys over there, celebrate with me. Hey, guys over there, stop your fighting and come greet your new king. After becoming an adult, I decided that it was time to do whatever self-respected adult player should do. Start a family of his own. Ah, look at this guy. He's actually kind of really cute. Hey, little one, take this trophy, man. And don't grow up too fast. Man, such a cutie. Now that I've become a father, it is time to do what most fathers does. Leaving the children before everything gets too serious. Also, by looking at when messages was delivered in chat, I deduced that it took me around 7 hours to grow this creature. This is 1 hour more than I initially sought off after, however, this was with dying. If you died even once on the aisle, it would be over in that instant. In conclusion, take that viking. It's kind of difficult just eyeing the creature, but it seems like the Allosaurus is just a tad bit bigger than the Epcano. What do you guys think about that?